Greetings people of the interwebs, I am Zach, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Gollum. It was released in the United States back in February, but it just came to Netflix a couple days ago on June 26th. The Gollum is an Israeli film, though it is entirely in English. It was directed by the Paz Brothers, and it stars Hani Furstenberg. It revolves around a peaceful Jewish village that becomes antagonized by a neighboring group, which drives the heroine of the story to create a sacrilegious golem in order to defend the village. So, let's get into it, shall we? I'll lead off with some of the things I liked about the film, and then we'll trek into some of the things I didn't like. So, firstly, the acting in this film is exceptional. The characters are all believable, they all have depth, even the antagonist. You can very clearly understand his motives and can actually empathize with him. I'd like to highlight our lead, Hanny Furstenberg, and her role of Hannah as well. She delivers the strongest performance of the film, and I loved her character arc. She masterfully shows the emotional baggage that her character carries and delivers that to us with the look in her eyes. You're never entirely certain of her next move either, and I enjoyed that unpredictability. Another element I liked about the film was the setting. It takes place in Lithuania in the 1600s. There aren't a great many films set in that century or country, so it was fun to see one that was. The clothing and buildings really add to the overall feel of the time period as well. There are some of those creepy plague doctor masks that looked so eerie and made the introduction of Vladimir, the antagonist, fairly intimidating. Furthermore, I liked that the film was grounded within Judaism. Again, not too many films depict Judaism, and when they do, it's often either the Holocaust or Moses. So it was an interesting experience, and I think it made the film much more unique. Minor spoiler, but when Hannah summons the Golem, you expect it to be some terrifying hulking brute. But it's not. It's just a kid. And at first, I didn't know how to feel about that, but the way it ties into Hannah's backstory just really works perfectly, and I'm ended up glad that they went in that direction as it makes the dynamic between her and the Gollum captivating. Now let's get into some of the negatives of the film, shall we? So the CGI isn't awesome, all the gunshots in the film looked pretty off and whenever someone gets killed by the Gollum, it also just doesn't look believable at all. Again, this isn't a Hollywood budget that they were working with so these are forgivable but it's just something to note. I liked Vladimir, the antagonist of the story, but I wish he got more screen time and was a little bit more fleshed out. He was played very well by Alexei Tretenko. The guy just looked ominous, even without the Plague Doctor mask, but the reason for his actions in the film is fairly understandable, and given more time, perhaps Vladimir could have been an even more effective character. Lastly, I thought that the film accelerated a good deal too quickly toward the end and reached its conclusion prematurely. I feel like they just lost the flow of the story a little bit. I can't exactly express just what I mean without completely spoiling the film for you guys. So all I'll say is this. It could have taken an extra 20 minutes and it would have been fine. I mean, I was having a good time. So I would have rather them kind of fleshed out the ending and taken their time with it. So that's all I've got for this one, folks. If I had to give the Golem a score, I'd give it a 7.8 out of 10. It's got some memorable characters and themes and I thoroughly enjoyed my time with it. Be sure to check it out on Netflix, Amazon Prime, Google Play, or Vudu if you so desire. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you want, leave a comment, let me know what you thought about the movie or this video, and I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye!